Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, the council has not yet been notified, but uh, I, I'm part of the economic team and I'm uh, working with Nifta mm. Saab these days. Mm. So uh, yes, obviously the political uncertainty uh, is always going to hurt uh, the, the, the economic climate of the country. And mm. that has been the case uh, since the last two, three months. And mm. some of the decisions that the previous government took uh, I think were only taken uh, because of political motivations or political plans that maybe they thought they knew that uh, you know there's a chance that they would leave the government, such as the pet petrol reduction in the petroleum prices and uh, the fact that we don't have any fiscal space uh, to to do these things or to uh, you know for example just in January there was a mini budget. Uh, uh, which was done so we could satisfy the requirements of the requirements of IMF. And then just a month afterwards, there was a mm -hmm. industrial amnesty announced. And, uh, you know, we saw a reduction in electricity prices and petroleum prices where mm -hmm. uh, there were commitments made with the IMF that petroleum levy would be increased by four rupees and it would be taken to 30 rupees. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, till it was taken to 30 rupees. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, obviously, uh, these political uncertainty uh, has a major impact on the economic climate of the country. And let me say that whatever Salman Saab has said, I agree with him it, and I endorse it. So there is the external pressure the, the, that you've seen the reserves of this country fall by almost 9 billion US dollars since August 2020. The government at this time is also you, as far as the prime minister is concerned, he's also not going for the increase uh, that has been suggested. Well, I In think we will have to review that. Uh, this was, uh, you know, the first, uh, 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 I mean, there's Ramzan as well, but this, these, these commitments, it was fixed for four months. We will be reviewing uh, this uh, uh, stoppage of price increase. And obviously, as I've said before, that there is no fiscal space for this. And then you have made commitments to IMF and uh, we need the IMF program. It has to continue because as Salman Saab has also said that, uh, uh, you know, this can result into very expensive uh, uh, borrowing from international uh, lenders. And uh, so we need the IMF. So that certification is required so we can, you know, go to the international market to borrow. So as I was saying that uh, on the external side, 9 billion US uh, has been depleted from your uh, reserves since the last uh, few months. And uh, uh, so that is one challenge. And then on the fiscal side, uh, you, you see, we were expecting they had budgeted a four trillion fiscal deficit, but uh, we have come to know that it is going to touch almost 5,600 uh, billion rupees. So that is a huge jump. It is 1,600 billion rupees uh, on the fiscal side. An increase of such humongous amount is uh, quite astonishing, and that is a huge challenge. So similarly. Uh, we've seen that the tax to GDP ratio has declined uh, from 2018, where it was almost 11.1 percent. It is it has come down to 9 percent. So there are serious challenges. Then you but have the Sahib, public as sector far as the last government is concerned, and I will go to Salman Saab also on um, you know his comments on this. But they were also suggesting that as far as economy is concerned, the tax to GDP ratio overall the situation was on the mend. Um, and what is the real situation now? Even the, you know, the, the figures being shared at this time uh, between uh, PTI and PMLN, there seems to be, um, uh, the reality seems to have been lost in the middle. Of course, there are in internal, external factors both, but what was the real situation? That's my question. Are you asking me or Salman Saab? Hey, I'm asking you. I'll go to Salman Saab after this. Well, the, the only figures that we can quote are the state bank figures and uh, you will see that or the finance ministry figures. So what we for this year, I mean, obviously the figures which have been quoted previously and been released by the state bank, we acknowledge those and we agree with them. But uh, what we are what I'm telling you right now is that the fiscal deficit, which was budgeted at four trillion is going to be five point six. It's it's heading that way. So this, that was the problem with Imran Khan Saab's government that he wanted to go uh, solo. He, he was taking a dictatorial path and where mm. there was no consensus between the opposition parties and even with their own coalition partners. That mm. won't be our way forward. We would like to even include PTI in everything, uh, uh, be it economy, be it electoral reforms, be it other subjects. 
we would invite them we would want them to left, participate but they've left because, assemblies well that 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 subject is still uh, you know there, there is a question whether the deputy speaker can could have taken the resigns or not or, or you know it's going to be vetted by the new speaker of the assembly so that is all still in, there is a question mark to it but moving forward our strategy is not going to be revenge it's not going to be political victimization or political engineering via nab or fia but it is the responsibility of the government uh, whichever it is to see uh, by the by the departments who look over accountability to make sure that you know corruption did not happen and if it, ha it did happen it has to you know work all across the board uh, be it the government or the opposition so uh, but that won't be our focus our focus is you know the economy our focus is the common man our focus is inflation and these are pretty you know heavy loaded subjects and quite tough road ahead on on these fronts so these are are going to be the focus areas and you know we will try a level best to take everyone along because the problems we face are not going to get resolved uh, for example you know again i will have to repeat on the petrol thing for example the government today is giving a 100 billion rupees subsidy <clears throat> per month if you multiply that by 12 it amounts to 1200 billion that is bigger than the psdp of the federal government so obviously this decision is is unsustainable it it's impossible it cannot uh, carry on forward so 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 everyone has to take a load in that everyone has to realize that this was done politically and you know if we start doing politics god forbid this kind of country is going to head into a massive uh, financial crisis so our uh, you know focus would be for a charter of economy we would try to you know uh, make certain things uh, beyond politics and they have to be you know delinked with the politics of the country and uh, those decisions have to happen rationally logically and without any political interference so that would be our focus and we would try to head that uh, road hopefully you know pt pti will also join Uh, in this uh, path of ours we come back when well, it's just you know uh, dirty politics nothing else I mean, you know uh, that is what you've seen in the national assembly that is mm. what you've seen in the uh, provincial assembly and one can only hope that sanity will prevail on their part right and um, as far as uh, hamza shahbaz is concerned he will be he you know of course um, is the new chief minister in waiting there will be of course a new cabinet there also so i guess this uh, time of uncertainty will prevail for a while and uh, one can expect decisions uh, bureaucratic decisions all of those things so i guess it will take some time uh, for the kind of certainty one would like as far as economy is also concerned well you know from your foreign uh, for forum i would also recommend that the, i think i've heard that the cabinet is going to uh, the first uh, part of the cabinet is going to be sworn in tomorrow and uh, all this political uncertainty is almost you know heading towards conclusion so uh, we're hoping that once the cabinet is there things will start improving and you know we'll start taking pakistan forward